Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gwen. In today's video, we will talk about these two problems. This one, and this one. Maraming kasing people ang nahihirapan dito on how to differentiate these two problems. And this problem will fall under the percentage base and rate. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the first problem is this. What is the 25% of 228? Well, the other problem is... 228 is 25% of what number? Guys, they are different. For those people who are reviewing for the, for the civil service examination and let and other examinations na talamak yung question about the percentage based on rate, you need to understand this. First, before diving in this kind of topic or this problem, dapat alam nyo kung paano mag-identify which one is the percentage base and rate. So let's start with the first problem. And by the way guys, I will show you two different solutions for this problem or for this for each question para magkaroon kayo ng alternative kung paano siya gawin. Kasi I will show you an easiest or an easier way to solve this. So let's start with number one. What is 25% of 228? Identify natin which one is the percentage base and rate. So it include natin. What is? So pinapahanap yung smaller number. What is, yung is natin, ibig sabihin niyan, percentage siya. Meaning, alam natin na nawawala yung percentage natin. Now, what is the 25%? Whenever na may nakikita yung percentage symbol or decimal, automatically guys, that is your rate. Kasi maraming tao na confuse about the percentage and rate. Pero ito na include nyo, if meron kong percentage, or meron ka percent symbol, automatically, that is your rate. Tapos, of 228. Since yung 228 is incorporated with the word of, automatically, this is your base. Since nawawala yung percentage natin, anong yung formula natin? The formula is simply, percentage is equal to rate times base. Okay? So, pasar, paano yan ngayon? Paano gagawin yan? Yung rate natin, which is 25%, before Substitute, substituting that into your R, yung 25% mo muna is kailangan may convert bilang decimal which is 0 0.25. Okay? So, our solution is this. Percentage is equal to 0 0.25 times your base which is 228. And multiplying this manually, your percentage is equal to 57. This is the answer for item number 1. 57. That is the first method na meron tayo. Okay, I will use a different color. Our answer is 57. What about the other method, sir? The other method is this. The question here is, what is 25% of 228? Lalo na natin pag percentage, per 100 yan guys, per 100. So yung 25% natin, so we can convert that into 25 over 100. Okay? Pero, this 25% can be simplified into 1 fourth. I hope makuha niyo yung logic dito, ha? 1 fourth. 1 fourth yan. Meaning, to get the 25% of a number, what you need to do is to divide the number 228 by 4. When you divide this by 4, it will give you the answer of 57. Sir, applicable ba yan for the other numbers? Yes. Kapag kinukuha yung 25% ng isang number, automatically, you can divide it by 4. Example, what is the 25% of 100? Divided by 4, it will give you the answer of 25. What is the 25% of 40? Divided by 4, the answer is 10. Ganun lang siya simple, guys. So, ano nakuha niyo logic behind my discussion about number 1? Now, let's continue with item number 2. Kasi nakikita ko sa ibang content creator, medyo mahaba, they're creating an equation first. Sa equation na, sa equation pa lang, yung conversion pa lang ng equation, it will take you time. And trust me, when whenever na natitake ng isang exam, mas maganda na mas mabilis yung solution mo at the same time, precise. Okay? So let's continue with item number 2. 228 is 25% of what number? Ito, iba to compared kay item number 1. Dito kasi, yung tinignan natin mabuti ha, 25%, uh, 228 is 25% of what number? Okay, look at the parts. 
Gamit na ibang ink. 228 is, meaning, this is your percentage. Part of. Meron tayong percentage symbol, meaning this is your rate. Of what number? Look at the word of. Since of yan, automatically, what's missing is the whole. O yung base natin. We know that the formula for the base, if the base is missing, is base is equal to percentage over R. Okay? So, when you solve this, ang gagawin mo, substitute mo yung percentage sign rate mo, it will become B is equal to 228 divided by in 25%, convert mo bilang decimal, you have your 0 0.25. Ang mangyari, look at the given. 228 divided by 0 0.25. Medyo ano siya, matrabaho, lalo na kapag mag-exam ka, kasi hindi allowed ng calculator in some of the examinations. So, magiging task yan. So, I will show you a different solution. Since pinapahanap yung 25%, akong gagawin ko dito, since I know that your 25%, to make it 100%, kailangan ko lang siya i-multiply ng 4. Ang target kasi natin is to get the base. So, kailangan natin makuha yung 100% nung number kung saan 25% lang si 228. So, since 25% times 4 is 100, so, ang gagawin ko lang naman dito is I will multiply 228 times 4. So, the answer is this. 2, 3, because 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 2 is 8, okay, plus 3, that is 11, right, so carry 1, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that is 9, 912, so definitely our answer is 912, pero may isa pang way, kasi dito kasi napaka-obvious na ang sagot natin is letter D, sir, bakit? Sabi dyan guys, Yung 228 daw is 25% of what number? So, we would expect na dapat yung sagot natin is greater than 228 kasi mas malaki yung number yung nahanap natin eh. So, among the choices, 52, 58, 57, 912, ito lang yung mas malaki kay 228. That's why the answer is letter D. So, I hope guys nakuha niyo yung mismong problem natin. And I will give you a problem para maging take out niyo lang. Okay? Find the 25% of 200. I hope na makuha niyo yung sagot dito and you can put sa ating comment section what's, what is your answer for this problem. So, again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!